guys, Bradley here from BJ Bass Fishing. We're back here at the lake spot at the boat ramp. Casting and Jack a few minutes ago just caught a really nice rainbow trout. Definitely gonna be posting that video on Instagram pretty soon. Um I was we're both using square bills. I just changed it up from a square bill to this crappie crank. Uh so that's what I'm gonna be using. Hopefully, catch something on this. This thing right here. Little thing. It's it's snowing out here actually too. Middle of November. Thanks. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. It's already snowing. See, that baffles me. I'm absolutely baffled. No way. What? Got a fish right here. Huh. Absolutely baffled that yes. Tomorrow's gonna be the coldest Thanksgiving actually on record for New England. It's gonna be a white Thanksgiving. It's gonna be pretty pretty sick. You know oh, dude, I just got a hit. This little tiny bait, it doesn't cast very far. But it does work like a charm. You catch a bunch of little bass, bluegill, crappie, perch. Yeah, guys, it's called a crappie crank for a reason. It works really well. And it will be one quick. I haven't seen a boat out here in a while. I just saw a, that was a little boat. Nice old bass boat. Little oh, bass boat. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, I just got a hit. Big hit. Big hit. He cranked it, bro. He cranked the crankbait, bro? That was a good fish. That could have been, that could have been an even bigger fish. Yeah. Okay, so, I'm gonna get up here. I'm gonna show ya. Probably can't, I don't know if you can see. But, see those little tiny snowflakes? It's snowing. Here's Jack. He just came from the other side of the other dock. He's casting there. Wait, hold on. Wait. Right. He's, uh, he's casting with the five. I'm casting with the crap drink. We're going to turn it off right now. We'll get back to you if we catch anything. See you soon. Okay. So, I'm going off to this area over here. Uh, there's a little lake embankment over here a couple little blowdowns or something or trees or stuff something on the judge said he got one so you just had one I'm coming back down what kind another trout my guys let's just stop Camera fell. That was a big fish. I saw it falling on bait and it nipped it and it didn't even set the hook. It bit and let go. I just had a follow. I just had one following. One downside to this bait right here is that it doesn't cast very far. One point five is getting cranked over here. I think I've got a spike at least for cast for the last. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna go try the other spot. Jack's gonna be right here and maybe he'll do some talking or whatever.
So keep in mind that there's a couple of kinds of species here. There's a large Keep in mind that there's a couple of species in here. Like large mouth, small mouth, trout as you saw. And um there is also tiger mussel. Pickerel, rock bass, crappie, bluegill, sunfish, green sunfish, whatever kind of species there is in freshwater, you have it at Lake Consignment. And it's a beautiful lake. Sometimes it gets a little dirty, but otherwise there's a lot of big fish. Maybe even perch. There's a bunch of perch here. There are carp in here. Oh yes. There's common carp, which I that's like my dream catch. I just heard a big thump, Bradley. Okay, so, here's the deal. Prep crank isn't working out right now. square bill than it was last time. Just a little bit of a different color. Let's see if I can catch another one. Whoa, it's just out there. Yep. We have a lot of tackle up in here too. So sometimes we can't find things. <laughs> we have so much cake. It is hard. Hey. See, I'm out of the camera. On top of the tackle boxes. And I had to get inside the tackle box. Jig. An old swim jig. In the winter time. Camera back up right there. Hello, different angle. Alright, here it is. Swim jig. Got a little bit of. Oh, shoot! Did you see that fish? I can see the back. Whoa! Yeah. Saw that. You saw the back of the fish. Saw that. I didn't even know what it was. Looked like a carp almost. That came like right out of the water. Yep. Alright. I'm gonna tie on this jig. And then take a couple casts. See what's going on up in here. We have a vi uh, vile spawn. Vile craw. Vile craw as the trailer for this bait. Right here. Um, I personally. Very much enjoy jig fishing. jig fishing and fishing with crawl style lures. That's really, just really fun. It's, it's, it's a lot of suspense, especially when you're fishing jig. There's a lot of suspense. And if you're not a fishing person, you don't really know how. How, how it is fishing some of these lures that we're talking about, but we it's really good. We love these lures. This is like all we use. It's either artificials like jigs or crankbaits or jerkbaits, maybe some top water, or worms. And that's really it. But 
on other times that we're fishing, we often, we use golden shiners a lot. That's like one of our go-to baits is golden shiners. But, but if it, it works so well, any kind of fish, I've caught like a 12 pound bluegill on a shiner. I've caught my PB bass on a shiner. I've caught a trout on a shiner before. It's true, he did catch a trout. You got one? You got one? You got a fish? Weeds. What? Is that a fish? He caught a sock! That is hideous! That is disgusting! Oh my god, he caught a sock! Oh my god! Alright, looks like we're not going home empty handed tonight. We're not getting skunked tonight. Off, bro. I'm not using my blade for that. Oh, I just stepped on my rod. That is hideous! Oh my god, it smells! <laughs> It smells! Oh, wow! That is pungent. <laughs> that is pungent. That is the best catch I think I've ever had. PB sock! That's a PB sock right See there. my sock fish today? PB sock fish. Okay, let me hold the camera. You just cut off the bait! I oh, did! Shit. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, bro, 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 bro. Hold on, hold on. Alright, alright, give me my rod. I need my rod. Oh, he got it, he got it. Alright, guys. I can't believe I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to do that. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to get the sock off. It's all up to you, dude. No, you Alright, bring it up here. I did, bring it up here. That is hideous. That is disgusting. I am disgusted. By Both human hooks. beings. That's Both of the hooks are in it. Come on, dude. Oh, it smells so bad. This is disgusting, guys. Do you have a dog and you have to pick up its poop, this is what it smells like. Exactly. No, it smells like if you're doing the laundry, right? And then you you leave it in for a little too long, and then you take it out, but then you don't put it, and then you don't put it in the dryer. You just put it in a bucket. This is what it smells like: really musty, mildewy, nasty, grossness. Yeah, pick up the camera. Get a get a good look at this. Look, this is gross. It smells like a can of worms. That's not what it smells like. It smells like a bucket of sock gunk. Straight out of the lake. Look at the crankbait just caught onto the sock. Oh, this is getting my knife all nasty. Everybody, this is the weirdest catch that I've ever seen. I've never caught a sock before. I've caught a shirt. I've caught a net. I've never caught a sock. You almost caught a shoe. This is the first time. Yeah, I caught a shoe. It's like a Converse trash. But look at this. You won't see this anywhere. He caught a sock! Oh. <laughs> Trying to cut it off! We gotta we gotta put the camera down for a second. Yeah, pause the video. Okay, this is the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Like, like and subscribe because I had to deal with this, alright? Look at <gasps> like and subscribe for me because I had to do this. Wow, nasty. trooper. But um, somebody on their boat got very sad. Leave your support, like and subscribe. Support our channel as much as you can and bye. This is disgusting.